everybody, welcome back to today's coding tutorial video. Today we're going to be remaking our slash teleport uh, command inside of our tutorial plugin series. The reason for this is because people have been asking me, well you just added this quick thing which would teleport a player with only to each other, but you're not actually adding one that allows you to teleport people to other people or teleport people to coordinates. So today we're going to change that up a little and we're going to change it up even more past where you guys think we're going with this. So first of all, we're going to keep what we already have here. We're going to keep our command here. We're going to keep our, uh, we're going to change up our correct usage because we're going to add a few new things to here and I'm going to show you what that is. So we're going to change our correct usage because it's going to be either teleport player to other player or another player or you can do slash tp the x coordinate the y coordinate the z coordinate and then you have an optional player um thing at the end so pretty much what we're doing here is we're just going to send this message if the uh it's you don't type anything that's how this is going to send a message now we're going to get rid of this here because we're not actually going to do anything with that yet. We're just going to delete what we already have here. And we're going to do if the args.length is greater than or equal to 3, we're going to do something. Um, so th we're going to do a few things here. The first thing we're going to do is we're also going to check if the args equal dot length equal equal 3. We're going to do something if they equal 3. Let me just fix the music real quick. I'm missing the music on the other end. While I record this. So if args.length equals 3, 3, we are going to get integer x, integer y, sorry, integer y, integer z. Just like that. And then we're going to try to x will be equal to integer dot phrase integer args. Sorry, args, and then it's going to be zero. So this would be the first thing you type in. And we're going to do this again three times for x, y, and z. So y equals the integer dot phrase integer args one. So we're just going to keep going like this. Same thing for z. Z equals integer dot phrase integer args two. Just like that. Perfect. Then we're going to just check for um, if anything goes wrong. And it's going to be the only thing that would go wrong in this case would be a number format exception. You don't really, for this uh, beginner series here, you don't really not need to know what all this is. But um, pretty much what this is going to do is we're going to send a message and it's going to say invalid coordinates. So pretty much what, what this is looking for is if those x, y, z coordinates are incorrect, um, it will not TP you to the, I spelled coordinates wrong, it won't TP you to, the, you to those um, coordinates. What, what does it say is wrong? Probably spelling, right? Change to coordinates. Yes, spelling. So invalid coordinates if, um, and of course return, make sure to return. Um, and we'll do false because it won't actually return. Uh, return true. What am I doing? Um, so pretty much what this is saying, what we've just added, is if the args are uh, equal to 3, which would be x, y, z, we're going to try to get those locations, and we're going to, uh, if they are, if we can't get those in co coordinates correctly, it will be invalid coordinates. Then... If, if we can get those, we're going to player.teleport, and then you're going to do new location, just like that. And then it's going to be player, so we're teleporting the player to the world, so you're going to get your world. And then you're going to get the X, the Y, the Z, just like that. So pretty much what we just said is we're going to get these. If they're valid, we're going to teleport that player. If there's no player stated, so just TP that xyz no player stated it's going to be teleported to that world and then we can send them a message player dot send message shack color green or something like that and we can say teleported to space x y z uh, sorry i have to put pluses not not commas so we're just going to say we're going to teleport them 
And when we teleport them, it's going to say we've teleported them to X, Y, Z. And what we'll do is we'll also add a, we'll just add a comma in between each of these to make it a little bit nicer and neater. So we'll add a comma in between each of these. So it's going to be teleported to X, comma, Y, comma, Z. Just like that. And then at the end, we can add a period if we want to, just to make it, hey, there's, there's your coordinates. So then we're going to return true, of course because that is the end of that um, cycle of things here. So just to go over it once more, we went ahead and got what we're putting in the args. So if our args are the X, Y, Z coordinates, we'll teleport the player to that. If they're not, they'll be invalid coordinates. Now we're gonna do something where we're gonna now do the extra player. So we're gonna do the exact same thing we just did, but this time we're gonna do if args dot length equal equal four because this would be if they equal four. Now what we can do to make this a little easier, we can just copy this from right above and we're gonna keep the exact same thing up to the point at the end here. So we're gonna copy exactly what we just did above, leaving out this bottom part, but we're just gonna add an extra part to this. This part we're gonna do player and we're gonna name the player target and then that target would be bucket.getplayer and then it's gonna be args three. So pretty much what this is saying is we are now going to get a player the player will be whatever player is named in args3, which would be this extra optional point right here. If the player named arg3, it will become the target. But we're going to make a check. So if the target equals to equal equal to null or the target dot is not online. We're gonna do something in this in this term. We're gonna say the player is not online. So we're gonna send a player dot send message chat color dot red. That player is not online. Just like that. So pretty much what we're saying is if the target is offline or well if the target if there's no target or the target is offline, we're gonna say the player is not online. Then next thing we're gonna do is if all of that has successfully worked, we're gonna do the same thing we just did before, but this time we're gonna teleport the target. So we'll do target.teleport, and it's gonna be a new location. Sorry, cap make sure not to do capital. New location, it's going to be the player.getWorld, and then it's gonna be X, Y, Z, just like we did before. But this time, you can see instead of, what the difference between this is, is this time we're just teleporting yourself, over here, you can teleport any player on the server, which is what we wanted. Um, and then we're gonna send both the player um, and the target a message. So we'll say, we're gonna send uh, the player a message, which will be green. So we're gonna send the player a message, which will say teleported, and then we'll do target.getName plus teleported that user to and then we can do a plus, and then we'll put x plus comma, comma, plus y plus another comma, plus z. And then we'll do plus and keep with the period at the end, just like that. But then we're also gonna send the target a message. So the target player uh, will get a message in green as well. That will be you were teleported to, and then we'll do a plus, we'll do X again, plus comma, plus Y, plus comma, plus Z. So if that didn't make sense to any of you, let's just go over what we just did. What we just did is we made it so we're gonna check if the args are four. So this is args three. That means you have three things listed, which would be your X, Y, Z coordinates. Then for args four, we're checking if we also have a player, which is our arg three. Now remember, args go from zero, one, two, three, four, etc. They don't go one, two, three, four. That's why args three is um, the third space for the player, which would actually be the fourth slot right here. And then we're gonna tar in this case, we're gonna teleport the target to that location, and we're gonna send a message both to the player who teleported them there and the target. Now. We're not only, we're almost done with this. We're so close to being done with this. Um, but we're gonna add a few extra checks just in case this, um, just in case something goes wrong in the coding. So 
now that we have that, we can go ahead and I forgot to add the return statement. So make sure to add the return statements because if you don't add the return statements, things can go wrong. So now that we have added our return statements successfully, we're also going to do else if. So this is else if the args dot length is greater than or equal to one. We're going to say we're going to get the target again. Bucket dot get player arg zero. So this is if you are teleporting directly to the player without coordinates. So we're going to do else if the why did I put that there? Else if the player or target is in the zero slot. So you do TP space the player's name. That's what we're checking for now. But we're also going to check once again if the target equals null. We're going to do nothing. Or if the target is offline, we're not going to do anything either. Or the target dot is online. So pretty much what this is saying is we're going to cancel it if they're offline, just like we did before. So I'm going to just send them a message, player.send message, chat color dot red. That player is not online, just like we did before. That's all we have to do. Make sure you type correctly and you don't be messing up like me. And then return true. Now I'll go over what we all did at the end as well, so you all know. Now, if that is, if that user, yeah, sorry. We're gonna now check if, um, we're also gonna check args2. So args.length equal equal two. The reason we're checking args2 is because you can do TP player to another player. So we're gonna do player target2 equals bucket dot get player args one just like that now with this we're going to do I had an extra bar there one second now we're gonna do the exact same thing we did above we're just gonna copy it which is just copy this put it down here change target to target two, change target to target two, just like that so now we have two checks so we're checking if the player we've named first is online and we're checking if the player named in the second one is online then if all this is successful we're gonna player dot teleport we're going to teleport the target to um ah. we're going to teleport the player to the target that's pretty much all we have to do here and we're going to send them a message saying player dot send message chat color dot green and we're going to say teleported to space target dot get name that's all we have to do but what if we're teleporting to someone else? That that could be a... Um, actually, it's teleport to target 2 Um, But what if we're going to be teleporting it to someone else? That's a good question. What are we going to do then? Um, we are going to add another uh, thing down here. That's what I meant to say. I'm sorry. I'm very, tar I'm very tired. Um, and I've just realized I've messed this up. So it's actually going to be target.teleport to tele target 2. So I was right the first time. We're going to teleport the target to target 2. If it's two but if it's not two and um we're actually going to change this message we're going to say teleported plus target dot get name to target two dot name so pretty much let me go back again i'm sorry if i'm messing this up a lot everyone i'm very tired and i'm a little out of it so what we're doing is we're teleporting that target to the second target that's all we're doing here and then, after all this, where if you don't set a second a name to teleport someone to someone else, all you're going to do is teleport yourself to the target. So you're going to teleport yourself to that target, and we're going to say player dot send message, player dot send message chat color dot green plus, and now we can say teleported to target dot get name. So that's if you're teleporting yourself to the target and make sure to return true just like we've done with the rest of them. Now, um, that's all we have to do right now. So we could add another check for if they did that incorrectly and we can do that if we want. So we can just copy this down here and we can add a check right after this and say else, eh, else just send that message. 
just to add an extra little check here. All we have to do now is rebuild our artifacts and we're going to hop in game and see what's up. All right, I have joined our test server here and we're going to test out our new teleport command. So we're going to do slash teleport and um, I didn't, oh, we our command slash TP, I'm sorry. So I'm going to do slash TP and you can see our new correct message is working. So we know we have set, successfully uploaded the correct version of the jar. Now we're going to do TP a coordinates. Why don't we do 100, 100, 100? Ah, it worked. I've been teleported to 100, 100, 100, and the chunks are going to load in. So we have successfully set up our plugin to teleport us to different places. Why don't we teleport ourselves to like 1,000, 1,000, 100, 1,000? Will we teleport there? Yes. What if we put some random letters at the end of that teleporting? Invalid coordinates. So you can see it's successfully catching when we enter our wrong coordinates like if we have something wrong with the coordinates or something why don't we test if we can tp to i don't think it's gonna let it so in this case it's gonna tp to myself because i don't have another account on tp noodles to noodles i just noticed a little formatting bug there so i'm gonna go ahead and fix that it's gonna be um let's see what it's teleported that player to that player is the bug so why don't we go there teleported target document name to uh, let's see where that is that would be right here teleported just add an extra space right there and that will fix that little formatting bug um we can try to teleport our we can teleport to or slash tp to a hundred a thousand a thousand ten thousand a hundred a thousand and then put our name at the end and it will be say it will successfully say teleported noodles to that coordinates and you were teleported to that coordinates so our plugin successfully works we've completely recoded our tp command to add the teleport function of teleporting players to other players we also added the feature of teleporting to coordinates and we were able to all do that in just about 16 minutes which is great so we're gonna go through the code once i'll go through once and i'll tell you everything that's happening and then i'll end the video you can go try this yourself of course the github link to all the code is down in the description below so pretty much first we're gonna get the command tp so if the command is tp it will run you can't run it as a console you can do if you don't have the permission tp use you're not able to use it if the args are just zero there's no um you're not putting anything there we're gonna send the correct usage command if the args are greater than three and if they equal three we're just going to teleport the player to the coordinates and we're going to do a check for the coordinates and then we'll send them a message while teleporting them but if the args are four where you add a player's name to the bot to the bottom of it it will teleport it will say teleported that player to that so you can teleport different players to different um places you can also well, we also check if the args are greater than one and if the players are online so we do a check if the players are online we can teleport people to each other by doing slash tp player to player and it will teleport the target to target two and of course we can just do have our normal teleport where you can do slash tp player name it will teleport you to the player's name and then we check for if any of that goes wrong we'll send the correct usage again so we have successfully done our code make sure to push it to github like i'm doing right now and i'll say um added slash recoded teleport command this way if you ever have a issue on your own pc and it like somehow dies or anything you have a copy of your code on github 100 percent recommend doing this i highly highly advise to do it so thank you so much for watching my name is noodles if you have any questions on how any of this works or if you have any issues with it make sure to subscribe like and comment and hit us up on discord we'll be happy to help you out with your code or any issues you have if you have suggestions for upcoming videos please leave them in the comments as well upcoming in probably a week or so we will have a uh, gui tutorial suggested by a user in the comments i wanted to get this tutorial out first because i did have a request for this a little while ago so thank you so much for watching have a great day and i'll see you tomorrow Good.